Hiya. I've been uh, asked if I can prove mathematically and through measurements the voltage drops that I'm getting on USB cables. So, yes I can. Here I've got the what I had for my 1 amp phone cable, the uh, HTC one from the previous video, and the dummy load. Now, if I set the dummy load to as close to 1 amp as it will let me, I'm choosing 1 amp because it's easy. Maths sucks, so let's make it as simple as possible. Okay, at uh, 1 amp, we're getting point, getting 4.32 volts at this end of the cable. With a 5 volt incoming voltage, that means we must be dropping... Uh, where's my calculator? Okay, at 5 volts coming in and 4.32 coming out, we must be dropping 0.68 volts across the cable. Okay, 0.68 volts at 1 amp, R equals V over I, 0.68 volts must be 0.68 ohms. So let's see what that actually is. Let's turn my power supply off. Now, I've modified the connector at this end with some nice little banana plugs. I've got extra ones, so I'll explain those in a minute. I also have this little baby that I've knocked up. It's a micro USB socket with, quite simply, all the pins shorted together. That allows me to measure the resistance, the resistance of the entire cable from one end there and back again, just like a hobbit. If I just slip this on the end, I can now measure the resistance on my trusty multimeter. Let's get it the right way around. <coughs> 0 0.77 ohms. <coughs> Excuse me. Bit of a frog in my throat there. I think I need some coffee. It's too early today. Right, yeah, 0.77 ohms. Not too far off the 0.68 the dummy load was giving us. Now this is a t what's called a two-point measurement, where we're basically measuring the resistance from inside the multimeter along this wire all the way through the cable back up through this wire and back into the multimeter, which is approximate, to say the least. <laughs> Precision multimeters do what is called a four-wire measurement, and that's where these are two wires are coming in to play as well. Now, I don't have a precision multimeter, but no matter, I have a second multimeter. Move that light out of the way so it's not shining. Now, the way that a precision multimeter does a four-wire measurement is it feeds a preset current through the resistance you're trying to measure and then measures the voltage across that resistance. Rather than measure, measuring the voltage dropped across the internals of the multimeter, you, tr you measure the voltage as close to the device under test as you can. So, let's set this to measure voltage. Okay, and then I shall feed into this a preset current of my power supply of exactly one amp. Okay, let's turn that on. So we have one amp coming in through here through this multimeter for reading the current, across to here, as close to the resistance under test, from the other side of here, out to my power supply again, for ground. So this one's measuring the current, and this one is measuring the voltage across the resistor. I'm not sure why it gives me uh, 4 millivolts across it all the time there. 
4.1, 4.09 millivolts all the time. That's probably a little bit of leakage coming from the power supply when it's turned off. Or maybe it's, I don't know, actually, no, it could be the differences in metals at this end and the differences in metals in the various connections causing a slight electrical charge, just like a thermocouple does. In fact, if I try heating this, I wonder if it'll... Getting a bit sidetracked here. If I heat this, I wonder if it'll increase the voltage. It may do, it may not do. It won't be anywhere near as sensitive as a thermocouple. Oh, wait, we have had a slight change. No, mm, yeah. but anyway, that's the tutorial for another day. So, yes, that's what I'm saying. Current measured through here, voltage across it here, and turn it on. We have one amp flowing through, and 0.81 volts dropped across, which again, Ohm's law, R equals V over I, voltage divided by current, 0.8 divided by 1 is 0.8, so we've got 0.8 ohms from the point here to here, right where the solder joints are in this these connectors. I've got 0.81 ohms. So yes, that does tally up pretty much with the... It's, it's in the same sort of ballpark area as the dummy load gives us from the voltage drop. 